Tonight on BBC London News, victory for campaigners fighting to save the Brompton's heart surgery unit from closure. The anxiety caused by this whole process for what's been sort of two years now is uh, quite considerable. Hello and a very good evening to you. First tonight, a victory for a London hospital in its fight to save its children's heart surgery unit. The Royal Brompton has won the latest round in the battle to prevent the closure, which it claimed would have an impact on other services at the hospital. Today, a judge at the High Court ruled the consultation process, which recommended the closure, was unlawful and should be quashed. But the NHS says it will appeal. Our political correspondent, Don Carl Mercer, reports. While the lawyers battle it out in court, little Nicholas Tompkins is fighting his own battle. Born with a serious heart problem, he was first rushed to the Royal Brompton when he was just three days old. He's already had major surgery. And the comfort that you get from in that shocking moment, seeing your baby like that, the comfort that you get from knowing that everyone else in the room is in the same situation, and all the nurses and all the doctors specialise in that, is, you know, it's, it's, it's priceless. Nicholas is one of hundreds of children operated on here every year, but a national review had recommended that the Brompton would have to stop carrying out children's heart surgery and that the work would instead be done at Great Ormond Street and the Evelina Children's Hospital. Today, a High Court judge quashed that decision, saying that in part, the consultation process was unfair and unlawful. The central issue is not about winning. The central issue is about the fact that uh, the whole consultation has been quashed. The court case has already cost a million pounds of taxpayers' money and is not over yet. The NHS is to appeal, but it may need to rerun the whole consultation process. We've done this consultation so carefully. The whole process has been thought through. We've, we've done everything we can to make it open and transparent, and yet we still end up in court, I think wrongly, but we still end up in court with public money, as you say, and I think it raises huge questions about how we reorganise services in the NHS. The move to change the way children's heart surgery is delivered was sparked more than a decade ago following problems at the Bristol Royal Infirmary. Now, with further delays likely, the Royal Brompton says it will work with other hospitals in London, as long as it can keep its own unit. We are a big centre, we're a safe centre, um, and because we meet uh, those standards, if you like, in terms of volume and, and, and quality, uh, we believe that we should, be, uh, we should have a place at the table in terms of uh, carrying on into the, uh, the future. That's an offer to work with others to treat the 1,500 children in London who need heart surgery each year. But in the end, it may be the courts that decide what eventually happens. Carl Mercer, BBC London News.